What's up, everybody? This is Easy Easy Street Gaming, bringing you a, another partner guide. This is how to upgrade your partners properly, how to make a six star. This is a, a remake of an earlier version. Kind of complicated, but kind of simple at the same time. I see a lot of people making a lot of mistakes, though, so let's, let's just get right into it. First thing you want to do is create a four star factory. You don't want to use your natural four stars and just turn your four stars and use them to make five stars right away and I'll show you what I mean here in a second uh, and also don't put war patterns on all the partners that you're going to just advance anyway and, and make five stars uh, so what you want to do is you want to pick some three star partners that have really good uh, skills right away a good example is the green dragon man has the wild roar which he'll increase the speed for the entire team uh, and that's at, right at level one so you can pick some three star partners that are good right at level one um, Another good example would be the Blue Wolf, not one of my favorite partners, but it has the leader skill of speed, which is actually higher than the Blue Black Shaman, believe it or not. So you have some powerful three-star partners that have really good leader skills right at level one. Use those partners, advance those partners to level 25. With the war patterns, eventually you're only gonna use five-star war patterns. Uh, don't don't advance anything but five star past level three um, But at first you can use these one star war patterns And you'll what you'll do is you'll use the sets of them and use the value of the set of them instead of the level item That's that's the swing value of them at first the the value comes in the sets and then after Once you get five stars then, then the actual value comes in with the level of them uh, You don't want to level up one star one star uh, war patterns because you really won't get the value for them once you, once they're maxed out so, here's a couple question answer type things. Uh, question, I just started playing. I have every three star partner, but none others. Which would which would you upgrade? Uh, first, I always want to start with the red blonde. I don't know why. <laughs> but she does high damage. She needs a little help from war patterns. These high damage partners are really helpful at first. Also, look for three star partners that have good leader skills or unique skills uh, the bear paw has three different leader skills so that they're a good partner to have the the blue uh, berserker has a is a powerful healer the green dragon man and, and the wolf we already explained a little bit earlier uh, next you want to look for three star partners that you'll eventually want to upgrade to level 40 some of these are, are kind of obscure at first you wouldn't think that the red dragon man or the green boar is so important but they're actually really big partners later on then go for your automatic four star partners uh, like the green demon killer uh, green catfish fighter you can get both of those without any any luck at all you get one of them from old ball smithy you get the other one from fishing next question why do I always suggest these two partners as the first two four stars to go after and that's because they, they take no luck uh, you can just advance your stronghold and go fishing a lot to get the catfish fighter and then once you get up to I think it's level 11 in the Obal Smithy, you can get the Green Dragon, Dragon, Demon Killer. I'll get it right. And they're two huge four-star partners. Then you can kind of use them to carry you through adventure. Jumping back to war patterns, see how my brain works. There's only really one good way to make sure you only have five-star war patterns, and that's to sell every single one but the five-star. It's a very hard habit to get into at first. I know that I go with this uh, round round with nerve she wants to save all of her four stars because they're so good but if you just save the five star patterns and sell the rest of them you'll build up the soul faster and believe it or not once you have a lot of five star right now I have tons of five star uh, war patterns what I'll do is I'll sell all the gray war patterns as well and that they have one attribute one skill on them you really want to get and start saving up five stars and not only five stars but five stars that have two and three skills on them at level one and or level zero believe it or not it's a, it makes a huge difference what happens is the love the second and third skill attribute on the war patterns will get more than one upgrade so you can have uh, you, you can have 10 or 15 percent on your second skill instead of just five percent if you have uh, a, a normal war pattern so 
this makes a big difference once they're maxed out when you have a maxed out war pattern at level 52 you'll have four four i think five other skills on it five, five other attributes they'll all be at like level five if they're all percentages they'll all be at like five percent now if you have three of those attributes at level zero then instead of them all being at five you can have them at ten percent and that's an extra five percent on different skills which is really big keep in mind soul is really important in the partner game turtles you are you going to spin turtles like crazy if you want to advance your partners if you want to do really well at the partner game you have to concentrate on constantly getting soul and constantly spinning turtles okay I'm, here's a good example of what you can do with some of these advanced war patterns up top i, I believe i have some uh here's one that's ahead that that's got four attributes on it and that's at level zero um i believe i have a left foot as well and what I've done with the left foot, this also was purple to begin with. And if you look at it, I'll show you here in a, in a second. Uh, I'm gonna, I want to show you the comparison between a normal war pattern. The one on bottom was a normal war pattern. At level 12, the defense was plus 99, which I'm going to be able to get plus 99 on both of them uh, for the first skill. But then it's, it's the second, third, and fourth skill that makes such a big difference. Um, at, at a five star pattern the first skill will always upgrade to be the same if it's a percentage it'll always be 52 percent i believe uh, for the first skill um now for the on the on the left foot it's always going to be defense now i've just upgraded this one right here to level 12 just so you can see the comparison between the two of them um the one i have on this blue kernel to right now you can see the second skill is four percent the third is plus seven speed the, the so four percent plus seven now if you look at the one up top, I just upgraded it to level 12 and it's got 11% for, for hit points. It's got 10% for defense. So it's got literally double the strength because I used an advanced war pattern to begin with. So using these advanced war patterns, it's, it's a vital part of the game. Uh, now the, the colors on the war patterns will tell you what they are. A lot of people don't know this, but you have several different types of war patterns. You have the common, which is gray. Then you have your magic war patterns, which is which are the red ones. The blue ones are called rare war patterns. They have three attributes. The ancients have four attributes. They are the ones that are gold, which is also you get from level nine. Level nine. Then once you get up to level twelve, you'll see the the war patterns will turn purple. Those are all also called legendary. You can get legendary war patterns, and at level zero, they'll be purple. That means that they have all the attributes on it already. And as you're upgrading at level three, six, nine, twelve. Um, you'll advance one of the skills and it's a random thing so you might get lucky and advance the second skill or the second um, the, the second attribute three times or four times and then remember at level 15 it's the first skill that gets a great in improvement so you go from like uh, if it's a percentage one let's say if it's a hit point percentage um, you'll be at 42% at level 14 and then at 15 it jumps all the way to 52% so you get a really big bump at the very last one So war patterns really big deal to get five star patterns And here's here's this is uh, an example F For a common war pattern for the right hand Let's say it attacks 52% it's going to be the same for your legendary war pattern But look at the second numbers look at the third and fourth numbers And in this example, speed got two upgrades, defense got one upgrade, hit point got one upgrade. So it's a it's just a huge difference at at the very end of it. Now, if this was not a five star pattern, the the first number, the attack fifty two percent, would be way down. Um, I think a four star pattern it gets up to forty two percent. I think three star patterns get to thirty two percent. I'm not sure about that because I won't advance any of those past level three or six. Now we have three different partners that I won't advance at all. I save these three. I save all of them because you need these to advance your partners uh, to third awaken them. That's the wild beast, the archer girl or the uh, marksman and the double blade girl. Save every single one of these. Don't use these to advance your partners. I don't even, I don't even use these as partners. I save them all. It may sound odd at first, but you need them to third awaken your your partners and that's where that's where this game gets really good 
here are some of the partners that I thought were trash that I've been so wrong about. <laughs> Number one on the list that was the most wrong was the Green Scarecrow. It has Reaper Cometh, probably one of the strongest attacks in the game. Uh, number two is the green boar. This is green boar is becoming Maybe the hottest partner in the game right now as far as your three-star partners It is almost invincible um, once, it, once it's maxed out and uh, Some something new to me is the red and blue little flower uh, Little flower once it's start awakened the scavenger skill gets changed and instead of it healing itself, it does this right here. Here's some pictures. I don't have actual replays yet, but I will. Um, this this is a Chinese player that was using this against uh, Project Mayhem. And look at all look at all the poisons. They automatically poison, or 70% chance to poison the enemies, like a 30% or 20% chance to poison your own team. But what's going on is that they're stacking up these poisons. They're using the, the cha-cha who dies and comes right back to life over and over and over again. Every time she dies and comes back to life, the little flowers poison everyone. And this player used a very odd skill to turn their little flowers into elite partners. Now, I'm behind already, but I'm trying to show you a visual idea of how many partners, how many three stars it takes to make a five star and then eventually a six star. Look at all these blondes out there. So it takes 35 five stars and five more five star partners. That's 120 three star partners to make one six star. And you think, I'll never get that many unless I spend money. Not true though. There's a lot of players out there that are free to play and they also have six star partners. You just need to invest some time instead of money. Here's a myth. You need natural five stars to compete in the top levels of adventure and the top stages in ranked matches. It's not true. In this, in this on screen, um, here's a bunch of very, very powerful four star partners. I've got, I've got here on the very last stages of the game. Uh, even the the red scarecrow, is what, who I'm fighting against, it has one of the strongest attacks I've ever seen. It, it uses the Thor's curse. And just watch what happens when Thor's curse actually touches my, any of my players. All right, so taking one step at a time, upgrading your partners. Try to upgrade your partners one at a time. In other words, if you have one that you're maxing out, you, you have one that you're making into a six star. Once you hit level 35, you don't don't try to start other partners. Keep on using that one with three three stars. So let's say right now, for example, I have a, a blue nomad. I'm trying to upgrade the blue nomad. Right now he's at level 34. I'm trying to I'm trying to upgrade him to level 40. I'm going to use that one blue nomad with three other three stars, brand new three stars. So three level ones. I'll, I'll go to forest stage in purgatory. I'll use that one that one strong partner with these three three stars, and I will just keep on running them through. I will collect all of the badger war patterns because they pay me the most. Sometimes I'll go down to bull which is the ice ice uh, stage because both pays us around 2000 so either use forest or the ice stage to collect the most soul for your war patterns uh, step two once I get all three of my three star partners to level 20 to level 25 I'll just put them to the side and then I will start three more and if you saw what just happened to me that was Thor's curse that just annihilated me. And these are level 40 partners, except for my little ghost, which will be 40 soon. Little ghost you get from the fire frost event or frost fire, whatever it is. It's another partner that you can earn instead of getting luck. Although you get a lot of greens. Step three, once I have about 20 level 25 three stars and over 300,000 soul, I'll begin to make the four star partners. Remember, you'll also need about 60 three-star partners for this process. So, you need to be spinning turtles like crazy. I mean, you almost seem like, uh... Let's just say that these gold turtles are a little addictive. <laughs> Step four, go to the altar. Use your level 25 three-stars and three level ones to make one level one four-star. Repeat this process 20 or 25 times. I save a lot of level of, of level 25 three stars that's a lot and remember it takes about 10,000 soul to do this so it's a lot of soul you're gonna use step five I try to use a natural four star for this part this is where your natural four stars come in 
I'll try to use my natural 4 star, I'll get it up to level 30. And then I'll use that one natural 4 star with 4 of my 3 stars that I've made into 4 stars. To make that one 5 star. So if you've been following along trying to count, we have about 25 level 1 4 stars. That are just waiting for us. Then we can run our natural four stars to adventure. Use that same first partner and run three natural four stars if you have them through adventure. Get them to level 30, four star. Do that twice if you can. So you'll have six natural four stars at level 30. And at that point, you can take your natural four stars and combine them with your manufactured four stars to make level one five stars. Then you bump up one of those five stars all the way to level 35. Then you have a bunch of manufactured level 1 5 stars, one maxed out 35 5 star, which can make your first 6 star. It's a long process. It's a, it's a grind, to say the least. But it is possible. Meanwhile, you also have to make sure you have several 3 star partners for your artifacts. For every 6 star partner you make, you want to have an artifact on each one. You can have, I think they give you 10 Brutal Horns and 10 of the Brutal uh, Seals, I think it's called. The Brutal Horns are for your attack partners, the Brutal Seals are for your high health partners. You want to make sure you have an artifact for every one of your 6 star partners. And it takes a lot of partners to get these, uh, th these artifacts maxed out. I think it takes four natural four stars to to upgrade the skill. We're gonna go and see right now. This is painful too. <laughs> maybe I don't go. In, maybe I don't actually show it. But it takes like four natural four stars to upgrade um, one star level. So you you're running through a bunch of partners that way too. And to upgrade your actual um, star level. No, no, star, star level. Your regular level. To upgrade your level itself, it takes three star partners. So you're going to run through tons of three star partners to upgrade your star level. To upgrade your level. Jeez. And then a bunch of four star partners to upgrade your star level. You're going to reclaim all these. And by doing this, you will make your strong partners almost invincible. I, I don't know if you've seen this yet, but... You take a, a maxed out blue nomad who's already strong enough as it is. His natural skill is constantly give, giving him health. And then you put uh, the seal on him. Well, after every turn, he's got a percentage chance to regain even more health. I mean, he's just constantly healing himself. He's so hard to beat then. So this makes your good partners great. It really does. Just make sure you use the correct artifact on the correct partners. Um, artifacts is something that I don't talk about as much as I probably should have. During all the events where you have the partner, the, the elite partners that you can get, the very rare partners that you can get, along with them, you can get the artifacts. Um, if you're a money player, these are where you want to invest a little, a few dollars. Because remember, if you invest money into your troops, well, someone can attack you and just take all that from you. If you invest it in your partners, well, no one can ever take that from you. And if you've noticed, the game has shifted some focus onto the partner battles. We now have live partner battles twice a day. Figure out what time your live partner battles are at. Um, I'm making some adjustments in my schedule to where I can do that a little bit more. Hopefully. I know this is a really fast paced video, but if you could actually follow along, the whole moral of it is make your, make your four star factory. Constantly make three stars into four stars. Then you'll make those four stars into five stars, and then eventually you, you will manufacture your three stars all the way up to six stars. Use the natural four stars to, to help along the way. Appreciate everyone for watching. If you've never subbed to the channel before, sub to the channel, please. And I've had a lot of questions about the partner guide. We are still on the three stars. We've almost got through the three stars, working our way up to the four stars and the five stars. Uh, been slam busy so far this summer, but um, I'm trying to make some time to get these guides out. So thanks for the patience. I really, really appreciate everyone. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.